Be wary of what you let in. Hey guys, welcome. It is day 309 of 366. I'm reading The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday and giving you my two cents on the passage of the day because uh, I like Stoicism. It's great. It's a great philosophy. And, um, you know, it's kind of helped me through some tough times in my life and I hope that'll be beneficial to you. And uh, if it is, and you like the passage of the day, please share it with a friend or relative you think it might do some good for. So, April 2nd, be wary of what you let in. Drama, combat, terror, numbness, and subservience. Every day these things wipe out your sacred principles whenever your mind entertains them uncritically or lets them slip in. That's from Marcus Aurelius and Meditations. How much harder is it to do the right thing when you're surrounded by people with low standards? How much harder is it to be positive and empathetic inside the negativity bubble of television chatter? How much harder is it to focus on your own issues when you're distracted with other people's drama and conflict? We'll inevitably be exposed to these influences at some point, no matter how much we try to avoid them. But when we are, there's nothing that says we have to allow those influences to penetrate our minds. We have the ability to put our guard up and decide what we actually allow in. Now, uninvited guests might arrive at your home, but you don't have to ask them to stay for dinner, if you know what I mean. You don't have to let them into your mind. You don't. Keep them out. Keep them out of your mind. Keep the negativity, keep the BS out of your mind. Because what I said yesterday was... This brain, this mind of ours, is just an amazing thing. It's just an amazing piece of machinery. And that's what it is. A machinery that you, your conscious self, will program. Uh, just, like, just like yesterday's passage talked about how you can tell if somebody has spent their life working at a desk because over time, the natural curvature of their spine changes. And, uh, you know, if they wear pointy shoes every day at work, so too will their feet start to follow that mold. And whatever you constantly press upon your mind, whatever you constantly feed your mind, you will also shape your mind and your perspective to constantly see the world in a certain way. So if you're constantly feeding it negativity, negativity, conflict, drama, bullshit, yada, 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 yada. That's all you're going to be able to see. You're pressing it. You're molding it to only see things in a certain way. Um, like I said, it's a very, it's malleable. It's a pliable piece of machinery that you can shape and mold. So if I were you, number one, stay out of the environment of negative people. Try to stay away from them. And when they do, in, you know, inevitably they will show up. And uh, just guard your mind and just say, nope, nope, just... Just try and keep your distance, and you know, if you have to put on earmuffs, do what you gotta do to uh, to block it out. But you can shape your mind, put positive things in there. First of all, keep that stuff out, and it doesn't have to necessarily be, you know, just you know, just think positive, positive affirmations. But whatever you press upon your mind, whatever you want to constantly think about, you know, if there's a challenge you're facing in your life. Constantly put that in there. Your subconscious will bubble something up and give you an answer for it if you're constantly thinking about it. If you constantly have, you know, the object of your desire or, uh, you know, the problem at the forefront of your mind, always thinking about it, you'll start to notice things that you wouldn't have noticed otherwise because your brain tends to, when you feed it the information, your brain tends to filter out everything else and will seek out whatever you're asking it to figure it out. It's very, uh, very amazing thing, the brain. So anyway, guys, uh, yeah, just constantly feed your mind with good stuff and uh, stay away from the bullshit. See you tomorrow.